YouTubers. Well, I spent the night up here. Uh, I gobbled a couple times last night and a couple times this morning with my call. Didn't get any answers. Uh, I spent the night up here um, with my hidden woodsman uh, day rock, my tent. Uh, it was pretty nice yesterday. Uh, I didn't eat my parka. This morning it was uh, cold. I thought it was raining when I got up, and it was wasn't the rain. It was uh, I guess sap coming off the trees because it was starting to bud, but it's cold, so everything slowed back down. It was. Uh, Spitting sleet or snow pellets earlier stopped and then started again. Uh, I had my special lock on this morning and because it was cold, my ears was cold. Uh, it seemed to, like I said, warm up some. Uh, sun did try to peek through. When I got to the parking lot, there was two other cars, but I didn't bump into them. So we're still social distancing. Uh, been great up here. Uh, I'm going to spend another night. I think I am going to put that up, even though you can't see my face in the, in the dark, uh, inside the tent. I may take another one and uh, scrap at them, but uh, it just depends upon how much power I have in this phone. I didn't bring a, a battery bank with me. I should have. I don't know why I just forgot. I guess I had uh, my head in the clouds. And uh, I had a nice walk. I walked around this mountain. Uh, back up over there is a uh, a tower, lookout tower. I think at one time it was a uh, fire tower up there, and they built a lookout tower. And uh, the forestry service did. And uh, I took some pictures up there. Uh, I slept like a log last night. After I got the, war the sleeping bag warmed up, uh, I kicked the, the wobby off. When I crawled into the sleeping bag, uh, I was a little cold, and so I threw the wobby on top of the sleeping bag. And I guess when I got rolling, because I, I do roll, one side to the other. What happens is the arthritis shoulder, I roll on it, and it starts hold, hurting, and I automatically roll over to the other one, and when it gets started hurting, and I roll back, I just keep rolling. But, uh, that, uh, Annika, uh, sleeping pad, Gave me really good sleep and kept me good and warm. Uh, when I first crawled in the sleeping bag, my backs when I was laying on my back, my back and my leg, back of my legs was was warm. It wasn't like uh, my other air mattress, and I used to roll off of it because I was in my sleep. I was hunting for a warm spot. Listen, I, I, I just kept rolling from one side to the other, and, and uh, I didn't wake up stiff and sore, and I was warm, and, and uh, it was great. The more I use it, the, the better I like it. Now I'm 
Gonna wonder how it is gonna do once it gets hot. Uh, if it's gonna be too hot. Uh, but the ground, it's, you know, always pulls your body weight out. Or not your body weight, your, your heat out of your body. So it may not. I might have a good sleep with it. But so far, I'm loving this. Uh, I know it's only a 3.2 R factor. But uh, when I sent the, the other air mattress home and bought the foam one, it was a lot warmer and... Uh, I slept better, and uh, but it's big and it's bulky and and uh, you know in that little day rock. I mean, it's only that big, fit in your in your hand, small, light. Uh, I, uh, back in the day, I uh, uh, bought them self-inflating ones and. Uh, uh, they were heavy and bulky and and tough to get the air out. Uh, they sure came a long way. I'll blow it up. Uh, it's a lot better than the, the old rubber maiden army ones. They were heavy and they weren't warm. They were they'd kick out from under you. These things here are uh, a lot better. So anyways, that's my video for now. I wish I had bump a deer or something. Uh, I've seen a deer driving up here, but I haven't seen a deer in the woods. More of that good Pennsylvania Game Commission uh, stuff, oh, there's too many deer. Yeah, in some places, along, like around the cities, yes. I'll go along with that. But, uh, the bow hunters got to get near there. Because you can't hunt with rifles. There's too many houses. But with a bow, you could take them. And uh, believe me, a, a well placed shot with a bow, you, you'll drop a deer. I have yet to do it, but I always hit a limb or something. Uh, overestimate my distance. But uh, one of these days I'll connect. It's not like you're hunting with a rifle. Rifle, you get sighted in, get used to shooting a moving target, and you'll, you'll get a deer. may not put it down right away, but you hit it hard enough, you can follow the bloodstream. Especially, like, before the leaves come out like this. You know, you can follow the blood, blood will show up, and then you can get those uh, bloodhound lights, and it shows up fluorescent at night. Uh, that's why my my headlamp has the green light because uh, it'll it'll show that blood up. Even a little speck will at night will glow. If you're looking for it, you know, small small drop, you really gotta. But I did hear a coyote last night, late about 11:30. I just rolled over and went back to sleep because he was far away. Um, I've never had a coyote bother me. I uh, saw a bear track coming in, but I uh, I didn't even bear bag my food. And I cooked uh, hickory smoked uh, salmon in my 
s'mores last night. And uh, I thought maybe the smell would attract them. But it didn't. And I, I put the pack out that way. <coughs> Empty pack, I figured it. He'd smell that and get into it and tear it up but leave me alone. But uh, not even a coon showed up last night, so I picked my garbage up this morning and stuck it in my rock. And because and, uh, I, I believe in no no trace, I don't I don't like to throw garbage around. Well, catch you later. Sorry for rambling. <laughs>